didn't have the right bolts for my puller, so I took some crusty old body mount bolts and turned them down. Probably shouldn't have threaded them all the way, but you know, I, I just went ahead and did that. So let's see what breaks. Does it? What if I just snap the damn bolts off? I don't know, I'm not looking too happy. I'm starting to kind of straighten this out. <laughs> Alright, now we're getting some torque on it. Come on, pull her out. Oh, I think it worked. It worked! Whoa! Now I can unpucker my asshole. <sighs> they got a little bent. It worked. I'll probably get some properly made bolts. But, didn't have to run to town this time. This one's a bit, yeah. I'll get some proper bolts for it for next time. It worked. Praise be. This wheel ain't quite the same as other uh, other ones. Alright. Now let's see if I can find these bolts. Well, you don't need to see me fumbling with this crap. So, I'll pick up when I got something done. All right, uh, okay, Zip, I wasn't quite sure what you meant. Pull the wheel and uh, do some stuff. <laughs> I went in and watched a video, and they're talking about special tools and crap, and I don't have money. So there's my compressor for the steering lock ring thing. So now I just got to pick that little C-clip out of there, and we'll come back later. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting into something here, huh? Uh, I had to drop this steering column bracket mount bracket thing here. <coughs> but that gave me the room that I could finagle the harness up and kind of slide all this stuff off. And now I got to get something to pull these pins out of the side because that's what pretty much everything rotates on. And then, well, there's a finger down there too with a hell of a spring behind it, I believe. But, uh, I should be getting there. Oh my God, am I gonna get this back together? Might end up with that other column. <laughs> All right, I managed somehow to get these two pins out. And here's where it gets real hokey, because this is my puller. Just wait, oh, it gets good. It gets real good. Get rid of all this other stuff. Oh my Lord, I can't believe this worked. Oh, I'm putting some stress on those little threads. And get this tiny little nothing. Uh, is it gonna? Yeah. Look at that. That's that's nothing. It's like three sixteenths, an eighth of an inch. That's not how you're supposed to pull it, but it worked. And I'm only doing this once. When this sucker goes back together, it'll be with some thread locker. Oh. <laughs> I'm in there. <laughs> and these are the bolts that come loose. Uh, you got to watch some. One, I was one, watching one video. And the guy didn't. He said, when he got down to taking this off, he said, this is where I snake it and shake it back and forth. And he didn't mention about putting the tilt lever back in. You put your tilt lever back in, you pull it, and it releases off of there. And then your your steering knuckle thing just kind of works its way out. You know, you you put it down and it comes out. Figure it out. Uh, now I'm gonna. I can't quite get this off. 
but I can get back in there good enough to get thread locker in, and that's what I'm gonna do. And oh god, I gotta get this thing back together. <laughs> Later. If you got this little box of desperation laying around like I do, the uh, 6.5 six pointer goes on them stupid reverse Torx head things real nice. Uh, <laughs> Just saying. Later. Huh. Two guys go hunting. Bow hunting. One of them has crap. Climbs up in a tree. And I don't know why, but he does. And meanwhile, his buddy nails a deer. He says, oh, I'm going to play a joke on Fred or whatever. Guts the deer, dresses it. Puts all the guts underneath where his friend is crapping. And his friend comes back down. Bob, Bob, I shit my guts out. Don't worry, I brace God. And these two fingers, I got them all back in. I don't know if you can hardly see any damn thing in here. Is this even working? Whatever, uh. Got her back together. It was not an easy fix for a guy like me. At least. Uh, it took me all day. I mean, you talk about the Chinese puzzle box. What was the Hellraiser thing? The uh, la lamentation apparatus or something? You know, that box where they'd uh, they'd finish the puzzle and summon the Cenobite monster guys. Well, this one, the hell starts when you work on it. Because there must be 101 tricks to get this thing right. Uh, my wheel's on upside down. The official reason is going to be, oh, that's my sign of rebellion because I'm cool. But what it really is, there's a coupler shaft inside there. Of course, of course it's tilt steering, so it has to swing somehow. And uh, man, this thing won't pick up for crap. And that shaft is 180 out, and the lock ring goes onto the shaft one way, and the steering wheel fits over that little horn thing one way, so you can't just pull it off and shift it over a notch. It's on there one way or the other, so. It's on there upside down, and I don't give two flying, smoking, flaming 